Hello, everyone. Today, I'm here to talk about four or so more uh, SRE slash DevOps um, interview questions and answers. These are more general questions that are not tied to Terraform or cloud or AWS or, or Jenkins or anything like that. When the interviewer is asking you these kind of question, he or she is looking for your depth of understanding of what problems SREs face and how they go about solving them and what are the best practices for solving them long term. That's what she, he or she is going for. How, how, how do you think about how SRE jobs gets done in the first place? So the first one is, what is an embedded SRE? This is more of a philosophical question, but it shows what you know about how SREs work. So the answer to this question is, in, in the Google's SRE model, you have a small team of in software engineers, maybe five or six and whatnot. There would be an SRE embedded in that software engineering team, this, that small team. So each application team will have an embedded SRE. The point being, when, we, when they deploy software to production or whatnot, or release process or CI, CD, this software reliability engineer is the one Who's, who's the expert in these things, but he or she is so closely embedded in that team that you can almost, you, you can't almost tell the difference who's the SRE and who's not. So the, the, the advantage of this is this SRE has intimate knowledge of how the application gets deployed. At the same time, the application team knows how the application gets deployed by the SRE. So that's the benefit of that. The, the negative of this is you need more um, SREs if you go in that model as opposed to a central SRE team. Uh, the second question I want to talk to you about is um, four golden, golden signals. Um, um, so when we monitor our services uh, through whatever tools we have available, there are generally four golden signals that are really good for you, for us to know how good our service is performing. Um, the first one is latency, how long is it taking for things to respond back. Traffic, how much traffic we're getting. Errors, uh, how, how many errors are we getting per request, you know, as sort of an average over time. Uh, also saturation, saturation is how close are we to capacity right, on any given thing. So these are the four golden signals that tells you how well your service is performing. Uh, question number uh, three in this video is error budget. What is an error budget? Error budget is, um, it, it, it embraces the idea of an outage, right? Because you're always going to have incidents, always going to have outages. You cannot get out of that. Uh, and especially when your, your rate of innovation, rate of release is very high, you're always going to have uh, outages. So when you, we, when you have SLOs or SLAs with the customers, um, you, 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 you allow yourself to have certain number of, certain uh, period of time when you're gonna have outages, let's say four nines or whatever, right? You maybe you're allowed to have, you know, 12 hours of outage over the year or something. That's your error budget. You're allowed certain number of errors per number of requests, right? Uh, because as long as you're not going over that, there's no contract, contractual um, obligation to pay a refund to the customer or anything like that. That helps you and it helps you get more, uh, take more chances with with your innovation rate. Uh, the last uh, question is what is a postmortem and why is it important? Sometimes they are, these are called post incident reviews. Um, this is a cultural thing where whenever there's a big outage, you should have a post incident review call where developers and all customer team and everybody else who's involved, all the stakeholders are in, in the call and going over what caused the problem, how could we do better, what things we should not repeat, what action should you be taking going forward to uh, prevent this same root cause from causing an outage again, right? So over time, you re you iterate over these 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 incidents with a post mortem. It's a cultural, it's a ritual thing where you go over and you do a blameless review of what happened, right? So these things, these questions help the interviewer see how well you understand how the SRE team should function. If you find these videos useful, please like and subscribe. That helps me with the with.